This is Victor Campos, and I'm continuing with my overview of WordPress as part of our e-commerce with WordPress site. So I've got uh, my bakery site. This is the front end. This is what it looks like to people. Very plain. Last thing we did was add a couple of pages to the site, an About Us page and a Contact Us. Right in the middle is our uh, what's known as the blog role and we've got one blog post. Let's take a look at the difference there. I'm going to go back to Dashboard, Posts, and I'll select Add a New Post. It asks for a title again and content, so we'll say Grand Opening, a blog post about our grand opening. So we can add text, we can add pictures, etc. If you want to add pictures, you can click Add Media, either upload files, create a gallery, add a picture from an address, etc. I'm going to borrow a picture of cupcakes. So this picture will do fine, and I can see actually here this is a WordPress site I'm borrowing it from. But anyway, I copied the address, I will paste, and then it's going to download the, or it's going to link to the picture. And I have a few properties that I can set, alignment, linking, etc. So insert. And I've got a picture in my post. Again, I need to publish at the top right. And I go back to my front end. And I've got content in the main part of my site. I don't need that hello world anymore, so I can actually click to um, go back to our dashboard, all pages, I'm sorry, all posts, posts show up on the main part of the, of the design and trash that. So here we go. Here we go. So far, our uh, site. I've added a couple of pages. I've added a post, and there's plenty more we can do with WordPress. For example, this theme. It's the default one, and I think it's really terrible, visually at least. So next video, we'll see about changing our theme and perhaps these other navigation elements.